It's possible to configure a set of Corsa Competizioni to automatically save your race files. Whilst this is convenient, it does have a couple of shortcomings. The maximum file size for ACC is 1 hour and 15 minutes. This is sufficient for most Apex Online league races which are an hour long. However, the coordinators do like to mix it up with some endurance races every, occasionally and they will be 90 minutes long which is too long for the maximum file size. Also, all save sessions go into an autosave queue within ACC and that autosave queue has got a maximum number of files which it will store. It will delete the oldest file as a new file gets added. So if you forget to save a race file and leave it too long, you'll find that that race file is gone and you can't get it back. The techniques we're using will save a race file for us either automatically or on the user command at certain fixed events within a race uh, and they will be put into your replay queue. The replay queue does not feature any automatic deletion. To remove a file from the replay queue, you must do it as a user. You must go in and you must delete the file. So we'll have a quick look at how to configure ACC so we ensure we get the maximum file size and we increase the size of the automatically saved queue to the maximum amount. So if we start on the front screen of a set of Corsa Competizioni, if we click on Options, and then if you select General, you'll see there's a number of features here regards to replays. So the first option is the max replay length, which I've got highlighted at the moment. This is currently set to the maximum value, 1 hour 15 minutes. And if you choose the up or down arrows for that, you'll see you've choice of 5 minutes, 10 minutes, etc. Uh, 1 hour 15 is the maximum length that a set of Corsa can record. So I'll set it to the maximum length. So this will be the default save file at the end of a race. And then the options below are about the quality of the file that's generated. So I generally go for the best quality available. So replay quality I put to epic and AI replay quality I set to epic. I also use automatic highlights and I use auto highlights for the uh, follow-up highlight show I produce for league races where I do a recap of the championship prior to the race, a qualifying report, a lap guide, then I do a commentary over the highlights themselves and then I finish off with an update of the official race results, uh, the updated championship tables and the updated team championship tables. Uh, this I do for fun, would you believe, but the auto highlights are what I base that show on, so they're quite useful. Then the option below, I've got disabled. By default, the highlights are just tuned to you as a driver, uh, but because I want to do highlights across the whole race, that's not really of much use to me, because nobody wants to watch uh, a video about me for an hour. So I change that to disabled, so your highlights reel will show you drivers from across the race. It usually picks up overtakes though and it doesn't pick up people going off track or having accidents and they're usually quite critical to the outcome of a race. So I like to combine highlights with my full race replay files which again I'll need using this approach. And then the next two options below are about the highlights pre and post. So if you leave these values too low your highlights reel will just snap to the action just as it's about to begin. I've set these to 20 seconds before and 15 seconds afterwards. I've always got the option of trimming down that footage in my video editing software, but I can't pull that footage back in and I've not got it unless I go back to the entire race, locate the incidents that Auto Highlights has found and add that footage in. That's a lot of work for the sake of just adding a few extra seconds to the start and finish of each highlight clip. Auto Save the Replay. This is enabled. So this by default will keep saving your last race. But if you look two slots down, you've only got 20 slots available if you set it. I think the default is a lot lower. I think it's, you can set it to any number you wish, up to a maximum of 20. So I've got 20 maximum, but I think the default is five. So if you do a race and you forget to save the race, it'll go in the autosave queue. But if you leave the default on five, that autosave queue will only hold five races. So if you do a league race, autosave will save it. If you do another five races without going back and manually saving that race, the system will automatically delete it and you'll lose it. So 
by setting this to 20, that's a lot of races for me to complete before that race I want to have has dropped off the end of the queue. The minimum replay time for an auto save is quite handy. So anything that we do in ACC that's less than five minutes, auto save won't bother. And that's pretty useful. We don't want anything that's that short. This again is a variable and five minutes is the max. Okay, so I've not made any changes there, so I'll cancel. Uh, but if you've made alterations to this, be sure to click on confirm. And that finishes setup changes that we need to make to a set of course to competition. And returning back to the main menu, what we'll look at now is how a set of course to competition actually manages our save races. So if you click on gallery, it'll default open into replays. And replays are the manually saved replays that we've created. Uh, also, any replays that we save using the autosave script will be saved into replays. So these will stay here permanently. They will not be automatically deleted by the system. If you click on the arrows at the top, the next section you move on to is highlights. Uh, this is specifically highlights class of clips uh, that have been saved. The script we're creating won't save highlights for you. You've got to do that yourself. And clicking on the arrow again takes you into the autosave folder. So these are the automatically saved uh, sessions from a set of course of competition that the auto save configuration will keep. So this is the list that will be 20 races long and every, every time you add a new session on, the oldest session will be automatically deleted. Um, so if you finish a race and you want to come in and save the file permanently for that race, come into the automatically saved folder, locate your race and as you see when I hover over any one of these selections there's a save option. If you click on save it'll be saved into the replays section of the gallery. If it's a highlight session it'll be saved to the highlights folder. And that's the whole section of the gallery covered off. And we're all done now in a set of course of competition. We've configured it so it'll save files of a suitable length and we've had a quick look at where our race save files will be saved. So our objective in this tutorial is to create a script that SimHub will run whenever we enter the pits. And the script is extremely simple. It'll just set, press the M key in a set of course of competition. And by default, the M key is the save race command to a set of course of competition. Unfortunately, SimHub can't run a script to run a key press on its own. It requires an external piece of software be installed. And that is a very simple piece of software with a very small footprint and it's called AutoHotKey. I'll put a link to the AutoHotKey website in the description below. But it's a, a very simple program. All it does is allows it to run scripts to send key presses to any program within Windows that you wish. So if you go to the Auto Hotkey webpage and click on download and download the current version and you'll see Auto Hotkey install pretty quick. It's a very small program. And then if you run the install, and it uh, only takes a few seconds and it's complete. So the next step we have to take is to produce a script that SimHub can call upon. So to create a script file, what we'll need to do is we'll need to create that script file within the correct folder within SimHub. So we'll navigate to SimHub using Windows Explorer. So we start from C drive and then click on Program Files x86 and then we scroll down the list you'll find SimHub, launch SimHub, fold, open the SimHub folder and then within the SimHub folder you'll find a Shell Macros folder. Enter that folder and in all likelihood, your folder will be empty. I've already created a test script here, but we'll create a new script from scratch just to show you how it's done. So we're going to need a shell script file in here. And what we do is we just create an empty notepad file. So if you right click and then select new, hopefully you'll have available in there a text document. So create that new text document. And what we'll call this is save 
ACC race. And just hit return. So I've created that using the right click. You also, it's just as easy for you to use open notepad and then just navigate to your way to the shell macros folder when you want to save that file. At the moment, this is an empty script. So if I open this file, there's nothing in it. So we'll write the script by hand because it's a very long and complicated script and it consists of the word send, comma, M, then return onto a new line and just type the word return. And that's it. That's your script finished. Just save that file. Now, as it stands, it's just a text file. And if you notice, the file below the script I've already created is got an AHK extension, and that's an auto hotkey file extension. So it needs to be AHK for the auto hotkey software we've just downloaded to pick it up and be able to use it. So you need to edit this file, edit the name of this file. So if you hit rename, and then go to the end of the file, and then rename it as AHK. You'll get a warning from Windows because you're changing the file type. Just say yes, I know what I'm doing. And you'll see it's changed to an AHK script file. And that's it. We can now go back to SimHub and attach our script file to the pit in event. So when the pit in event occurs, this script will run, this script will press the M key, and as long as we've not changed the default within a set of course of competition, where the M key is the default to save the race, the race will be saved. Jobs are good. Un. So in this guidance video, we'll show how we can use SimHub in conjunction with Auto Hotkey to create a script that will automatically save the race file in a set of course of competition whenever we pit. So there'll be no interaction required from us as a driver. Whenever we pit, the race will just save automatically. The downside of this approach is whenever we pit, the race will save automatically. This will create a lot of save race files that you will manually have to manage and maintain. So I think carefully before you use this approach. Using the other approach that we've got available where you're giving a audio reminder about saving your race, it's still down to you as an individual about whether or not you wish to save the race and you won't fill up your hard drive with every single session you've had where you've actually pitted. So the way that we will use SimHub to automatically save our race as we enter the pits is to use the control and events option on the left hand side. So if you launch SimHub and then on the left hand side, if you look for controls and events and select that option, Default screen when you click, click on controls and events is to change to the controllers window. We don't want this one, we want the events. So if you click on the events option at the top of the screen, it shows you what your screen may look different depending on how your SIM hub is configured. But this shows a list of existing events and actions that are taken when those events occur. We're going to create a new mapping. So click on new mapping. And on the left hand side is the source. And these are events that SimHub can pick up. And if we scroll down, you'll see there's a pit enter option on events. So select that pit enter option. And then on the right hand side, if we scroll down all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, right to the very, very bottom, you'll find shell plugin and here you'll find our send m script that we wrote earlier select the script and then the next step is to select which games that this script will run upon Let's click on the drop down arrow and a list of every single sim that sim hub will support depending on which version you've got is listed um, we only want to run it with one sim and that's a set of course of competition um, and we don't want to go clicking all the way down this list so if you select none it deselects all the games but then closes the list so if we reopen the list you'll see that everything is deselected now we just put a check mark against the set of course of competition and then click off the list and you'll see it's the only game selected so to recap the source is set to pit enter and the target is set to the script we wrote earlier to press the M key. 
and the game is set to Assetto Corsa Competizione. So I'll click on OK. We've finished configuring SimHub. So now, as long as SimHub is running when we're in our race, whenever we enter the pits and the car raises up on the jacks, the Assetto Corsa Competizione will save our race at that point. Don't forget, when you finish the race and you cross the finish line, you do not enter the pits and you do not raise up on the jacks. So you will still have to manually save the final section of the race after your last pit stop. Hope this has been useful. Please leave a, uh, a like and a comment if it has been handy or leave a comment if you've got any other issues you think that we might be able to pick up and address. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.